Chances are, if you've ever been to a carnival, a circus, or seen an episode of The Simpsons, you will have heard of a stunt called the Ball of Death. Motorbike riders wheel around the inside of a giant mesh ball, defying gravity and escaping death. But have you ever wondered how that works? I'm going to make one today using a balloon and a coin. Okay, it's not going to be as dangerous and death defying, but stay with me. This coin is going to be our motorbike rider, and this balloon is going to be our ball of death. So in he goes. Okay, I'm going to put some energy in to get moving around the globe. So from here, I can see that he's circling around the circumference of the inside of the balloon. What's happening here is that the balloon is exerting a force inwards on the coin. This inwards force is keeping the coin travelling perpendicular to the inside of the balloon. This is called a centripetal force, and it's the first force that keeps our motorbike rider alive. The next force that we're seeing here is because of the shape of the balloon. Because it's a globe, um, the shape of the balloon is pushing the, the motorbike rider upwards. At the same time, this upwards force is matched by a downwards force, gravity. Those forces acting together keep our motorbike rider, our coin, suspended safely around the inside of the balloon. Now we can't hear very much here, whereas you would hear a lot in the real thing. So let's try it with something else. How about this metal nut? So in he goes, same as the coin. Let's see if this one sounds a bit more like the real thing. The exact same forces are acting on the nut as they are, were on the coin. But what's the difference? The coin has smooth edges, so it rolls evenly around the surface of the balloon. Whereas the nut has uneven edges, this means that when it moves around the inside of the balloon, it bounces as it rolls. Those bounces against the surface of the balloon create vibrations, and those vibrations are passed on into the air, um, which makes that sound that we hear. This is a really easy way to recreate this stunt at home, albeit with less loss of limb involved. So we'd recommend doing it. Giving it a go with a clear balloon so you can really see what's going on inside is a great idea, as well as using differently shaped round objects. Thank you for watching. For more information on our live interactive science and engineering shows, check out our website and connect with us through Facebook and Twitter.